Listen, let's switch gears here because we're all caught up in these economic times and whoever says it's not easy going through a recession is apparently uh, never talking about being green either. This morning we've got some more news you can use. Charlie Serrata is here with some, re Charlie come on in here with some really green tips. Thank you guys. And, thanks and, for having me. Uh, thanks for coming in, for, for sure. Uh, you, you know, NBC10 and NBC Universal have this big project to be green, and you have things that really make it easy that not only are affordable but save you money in the long run. Let right? me tell you a little bit about them. I'm going to call this first one the 10 factor. We're here on the 10 show. Good timing. Here's the quick math 32 right. ounces of a typical window cleaner Got it. versus 32 ounces of a concentrated cleaner. There are four of these in a gallon. Got it. They cost a couple dollars. Got it. It's about $10 a gallon. All right. At 32 ounces, all you do when you run out of this cleaner is squirt a few drops in the top and fill it up with the tap water. All right. You can make $300 of cleaning fluid from this concentrate. Let me ask you a question, though. Charlie, you've got BioClean on there. What is the significance between, what is the bio, uh, bionic benefit of this versus just a Windex? The bio is about basically biology and, in effect, the way that the extracts come from grapefruit okay. seeds. Grapefruit seeds. So okay. what you have is a non-toxic, fully biodegradable product. So not only are you getting the economy of scale with real math savings, okay. because when we talk about the green market, we're talking about saving money, we're talking about saving the environment, and we're talking about health for our okay. friends and our, our family. So Next this is a classic case is, of where it works. Now these just look like trash bags, right? These, I can buy trash bags in the, Home Depot. What these, are these have a, a catalyst in them that will actually break it down instead of over 2,400 years over 24 months in the landfill. No kidding. So part of the play here with going green and spring cleaning All as right. the theme for this particular segment of the show is clean smart but also dispose smart. And so now we're making less of an impact on the environment and we're saving some money. Just as strong as a glad Just bag or something else I'd buy? Okay. I'm familiar with this because I've done a bunch of stories on this. This is one of those heads I'm assuming that cuts down on the water. You got it. What's amazing is people forget that the cost of water may only be a penny a gallon, but if you can reduce from two, two and a half gallons a minute as a typical flow okay. for a shower, the volume down to about 1.6 gallons, you're saving your money in not having to heat the water. So you're taking it down at least yes. a gallon. So from $12 to $30, you can buy a shower head that could save you $60 or more on your utility bills. It might only save you a handful of dollars on the water bill, but the point is you're not making that water heater work as hard. But you saved on two going. fronts. Absolutely. Water and, and the natural resources you're using to heat, okay. This uh, looks to me like a water bottle. Am I close? Yes. What you've got between the stainless steel and the aluminum products now is instead of buying plastic, imagine we waited in line at the convenience stores and mm -hmm. people complained about $4 a gallon for gas while they're buying a bottled water that's $1.50. Yep. They're in effect paying $12 a gallon. So what we end up learning quickly is if you invest between $12 and about $20 in a container that can be reused, now all of a sudden you're filling it up at your filter, you're, you're economizing and you're saving a lot of money along the way. Uh, I recognize this as a power strip, but why is this different than a it, power strip? It's an amazing concept. 25% of our power is typically lost through phantom load, right. even when machines, appliances are in sleep modes or mm -hmm. off because they have little clocks and little lights that run. This will sense automatically for you the sleep mode from something like a home computer. And if you have peripherals like printers that are plugged in, it will shut down the power no draw kidding. from that automatically. You don't have to flip the switch on the base of it. It's about slowly starting to get smarter with how we live and well, work in our What's in the our price homes. on this compared to a normal power strip? You're looking at about $30 for this versus 20 something for the typical one. So incrementally pays for itself in a matter of the first few months. I want to move real quickly to these because I'm familiar with these, but this is what's got me intrigued because you say this is kind of the same thing. This is a goofy looking bulb, everybody. Let's just say this. Incandescent bulbs produce about 60% of their energy and output for heat mm -hmm. as opposed to light. Right. So what happens is a compact fluorescent bulb, the curly cues, will reduce that by about 60%. Okay. And they'll last 10 times as long as a regular bulb. Okay. These new LEDs last 100 times as long as a typical incandescent bulb and use a fraction of even the power source of okay. compacts. All right. They cost a little bit more, but we're slowly seeing the market come down. You brought 10 pounds to put a two pound bag. What is this? Now this is an interesting thermal measurement system. For $50, you can go around your house and literally point this thing as a laser and see that that surface is 73 degrees. If you point it, for example, in a ceiling recessed lighting fixture, you'll see when it's off that you're losing heat out of the ceiling, a sign for maybe putting attic insulation and calling in a specialist. 
of the base molding. It's a tool that you can use as a diagnostic in your own home. I, I want to run to these audience. This will blow you away. Does anybody have any idea what these is? Or what these are? Pardon my English. This is made of what? This, this is actually, interestingly, a sugar cane stalk product. So it's the remnants of biomass now. We've talked about biofuel for years, but it's a lot more efficient to make it into something that's closer to its source than like fuel for our cars. The clock is ticking here, but if this isn't enough for you, if you haven't gotten enough, there's a, a, there's a, a Going Green uh, Expo going on in the Convention Center this weekend. I'm talking about the Pennsylvania Convention Center in Center City, Philadelphia. You'll be there. We'll be there, and we wanted to offer your visitors, if they stop by the booth, $100 off on a home efficiency checkup. And with our new Eco Academy, we're training people to be home efficiency consultants. And off we go. All right. News you can use. Thanks so much. We'll be back in just a minute.